Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura Kasowitz. I am the owner of Hartford Stitch a Sewing School for Kids and Adults. And this is week three in our series on how to help kids to sew. So this week we are going to actually be talking about marking it out. This is one of my hands-on ways of ensuring that kids have sewing success, which leads to less frustration. And if you caught our video last week, that's what we talked about, how to limit frustration when kids sew so that they are on the path for sewing success. So this is a pretty easy one. I call it mark it out and it is all the different ways I mark up a piece of fabric when kids are learning to sew. And it can be really helpful because kids are often very visual. So even if you say to them, I want you to sew here and then we're gonna turn a corner there, that doesn't always work for them. But when they see exactly where they're supposed to go, it works a lot better. So if you like what you see today, if you find it valuable, please give me a thumbs up hit subscribe and turn on notifications because next week we are going to be talking about sewing safety because I know that is a big thing when you're teaching your kids to sew to make sure of course that they are being as safe as possible. So let's head over to my work table and I'm gonna show you what I mean by marking it out. All right, so I have a small piece of fabric here. I'm gonna mark it out like we are making a pillow, but this works for anything, whether it's bags or quilts or clothes or pillows, of course. And you wanna make all of your marks on the wrong side of the fabric. So not the pretty side that's gonna be facing out when you're done, but the wrong side, because this is the side that your child's gonna be looking at when they're sewing. You also wanna mark up the fabric before it gets all put together, because sometimes we have pins in the way or things are kind of being shaped around curves, whatever it may be, it's much easier to do it when it's just one sheet of fabric. So there are five different marks we're gonna make. The first mark is that you wanna make X's wherever they're not gonna sew. So for example, this is going to be a pillow and we need to leave a gap on the bottom so that we can turn the bag right side out. So I always tell kids to put their hand down and make a little mark on either side of their fingers and then draw X's through the middle. And the reason I have them put their hands down is then we're sure that the gap is big enough that they can put their hand in to turn everything right side out or to stuff in stuffing. Otherwise they may leave a gap that's this big and it's not going to do them much good or a gap that's this big and it's just going to take forever to close. So you want to make X's where they're not going to sew. Then you want to draw on the sewing line. So when you're sewing a straight line, it's super easy. You just want to take your ruler, line it up so that the measurement of the seam allowance, so that's the measurement between the raw edge and this line of sewing, is right on the raw edge there. So I'm going to do this like it's a half an inch seam allowance. And I am going, so I'm lined up with the half an inch mark and I'm going to just draw my line right across, not drawing the line where they don't sew because that gets confusing, and then turn my fabric and work all the way around. All right, so that works really well for straight lines of sewing. If you're doing curved lines of sewing, I have other tips and tricks for that. We go into it in our video workshop uh, projects, so like the hot chocolate softy and our messenger owl all go over the curved sewing lines. All right, so that's mark number two. So then the next mark you wanna put in are your backstitch marks. So the backstitch is the knot, if you will, that we tie in the thread by going forward and back on the sewing machine. And you always wanna do that right before and right after your X's. So I put a little equal mark on either side of my X's where I want kids to backstitch. Now, this is great as both a reminder that they need to backstitch at the beginning and end of their sewing, but also as a reminder that they don't need to backstitch on corners. So when people are learning to sew, they often want to backstitch on the corners when they go to turn. But since there is no equal sign there, they do not backstitch there. So the equal sign for backstitch is my mark number three. Now mark number four is where they turn the corner. So anytime that two sewing lines cross like this, I just have them make a little bit of a bigger dot so that they know that they pivot or turn the corner on a dot. So there is one more mark that we make, and that is the pinning mark. And now this mark isn't always necessary, but some kids don't wanna put in enough pins. Some kids wanna put in a ton of pins. Some kids just put two pins in right here and they think it's enough. So especially in the beginning, I find it really helpful to mark out the pins. And so a project like this, I would just have them pin here. So now with these little marks, they can tell exactly where it's supposed to go. They can go put their fabric together and then bring it on over to a sewing machine. All right, so that's it. And now I know this might seem like really super simple, but I problem these visual cues make a huge difference in a kid's sewing success. 
So give it a try in the next project. Maybe give it a try in your own next project if you're an adult and you're just starting off as well and see if it doesn't make a difference. Now, eventually you get to the point where you don't need to mark everything out and it all comes a little bit easier. But sometimes I even find this to be helpful if I'm sewing something more complicated to draw on my sewing line so it's one less thing that I have to think about when I'm sewing. So thanks again for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications because next week will be the last week in our four-week series about helping your child to sew and next week like I said we're going to be going all over sewing safety so if you want more videos about teaching your kid to sew please check out this one and that one and until next time happy stitching